Greetings from the deck of the Destroyer Escort USS Slater in Albany, New York. We are honored to have been invited by the Brotherhood of the Arctic Allied Convoys to participate in the 80th anniversary of the arrival of the first Allied Convoy, the Dervish Convoy, that arrived in Archangel, Russia on 31 August 1941. This convoy was the first of many Arctic convoys that would demonstrate the resolve of Russia, the, the British, and later the Americans to cooperate to defeat the Axis powers. Following the invasion of Russia by the Nazis on 22 June 1941, the Soviet leader Joseph Stalin asked for help from Britain and her allies. Winston Churchill immediately recognized the need to help his new ally and immediately began plans on how best to get war material to Russia. The most direct route was through the Arctic Circle by sea around northern Norway to the Soviet ports of Murmansk and Archangel. This was a dangerous route that passed through the narrow channel between the Arctic ice pack and the Norwegian coast with fortified Nazi airfields and naval installations all along the way. This course was extremely dangerous due to the weather as well, especially in the winter when the ice pack swells in size and creeps further south. Codename Operation Dervish, the first convoy set sail from Liverpool on 12 August 1941 and headed for Iceland where it departed 21 August 1941 and finally arrived in Archangel on 10 days later. The convoy delivered British fighter pilots and 48 RAF Hurricane fighters to assist in the air defense of Murmansk and Archangel. The Dervish convoy was lucky. Surprising the Germans, the convoy arrived without loss, but that was quickly to change. For the next four years, 78 convoys made the journey to Russia. Conditions were among the worst faced by any Allied sailors on any front, as well as facing the Nazi surface and U-boat Navy, sailors battled extreme weather conditions, temperatures, gales, and the ice pack. In March 1942, the Germans turned their attention to the Arctic Circle route. They fortified Norway with aircraft, U-boats, destroyers, and ultimately large ba battleships like Trippets and Scharnhorst. 85 merchant vessels and their precious cargoes and 16 Royal Navy ships were lost during this campaign. By the end of 1941, though, a third of a million tons of supplies had been delivered to Archangel and Murmansk, but that was to change when the German Navy began to make the convoy's task much more difficult. While the USS Slater never sailed with the Arctic convoys, she participated in the Battle of the Atlantic and battled winter weather, making five round trip convoys to England and Wales in 1944 and 1945. She is a sister ship to the British Captain's Class Frigates, a class of ship that did escort the Arctic convoys. Two of these ships, HMS Bickerton and HMS Goodall, were torpedoed and lost protecting the Arctic convoys. A third, HMS Muncie, was torpedoed by U-295, but managed to limp back to Russia, where the Russians repaired her to make the trip back to Belfast. Ultimately, thanks to the cooperative spirit of the Allied powers, the Nazi menace was defeated. Today, all the sailors are gone, but a handful of ships that participated in the Battle of the Atlantic remain. These are ships that protected the convoys from the Nazi menace. We aboard all have a duty to make sure that the sacrifices of these heroic merchant marine and Navy sailors who sailed the Arctic convoys are not forgotten.